Hey friends, back to problem analysis. It's me Jasim. If you know the basic geometry and the congruency of triangles, then here I am ready with an interesting problem. We have a square. Inside this square, I am drawing a triangle with two smaller angles are 50 degree each. Now a line is drawn as shown in the figure that connects the lower corner of the square and the middle vertex of the triangle. Then my problem is what will be this red marked angle? If you want to attempt the problem, pause the video and just give a try. And the solution is here. For better understanding, let's give some notations to each vertex. The square is named as ABCD and the remaining vertex is named as P. Now it's time to analyze the problem. First of all ABCD is a square. And then in the triangle BPC, angle B and angle C are equal to 15 degree. That is two equal angles mean the triangle BPC is an isosceles triangle. Now what exactly is our aim of this problem? It is nothing but to find the angle ADP. This is the structure of our problem. So always keep in mind. Now just think, how can we find that angle? From the figure, you can calculate some more angles. Angle BPC will be 150 degree. Because as you know, sum of angles in a triangle is always 180 degree. Then angle ABP and angle DCP are 75 degree each. Because each angle on a square is 90 degree. And also by the same reason, angle A equal to 90 degree. That's all. No more angles we can find using simple calculations. Even if we use trigonometry, it will be very difficult. But still, we have to find the angle ADP. So there should be some trick. And I am going to explain what that trick is. It is simple but powerful. Let's see. Take a copy of the triangle BPC and place it on the bottom side of the square. Let this triangle be triangle CQD. Now there is another triangle CPQ. In this triangle, angle C equal to 90 degree minus 2 times 15 degree. That's equal to 60 degree. Also the sides CQ equal to CP. Therefore, triangle CPQ is an isosceles triangle. Now by the property of isosceles triangles, the angles opposite to equal sides are also equal. Which implies, here angle P and angle Q are equal. And their value is 180 degree minus 60 degree whole divided by 2, which is equal to 60 degree. What does it mean? All the angles are equal to 60 degree. Therefore, triangle CPQ is an equilateral triangle. And therefore, by the property of equilateral triangles, all the sides are also equal. Now consider the triangle CQD. Since the sum of angles in a triangle is always 180 degree, then angle Q will be 180 degree minus 2 times 15 degree, which is equal to 150 degree. And therefore, angle DQP equal to 360 degree minus 150 degree plus 60 degree, which is equal to again 150 degree. Now everything is going to be very clear. Consider the two triangles CQD and PQD. Observe that the sides CQ equal to PQ, DQ equal to DQ and the angles DQP equal to DQC. That is, in the triangles CQD and PQD, two pairs of sides and their inner angle are equal to each other. Then, as I told earlier, if you know about congruency of triangles, then you can conclude that the triangles CQD and PQD are congruent to each other. And therefore, the other two angles in triangle PQD are 15 degree each. Therefore, from the figure we will get angle CDP equal to 15 degree plus 15 degree equal to 30 degree. And hence, our angle ADP will be 90 degree minus 30 degree which is equal to 60 degree. And that is the solution we are looking for. And that's all about this video. My Gmail ID and Instagram ID are given in the description. So if you have any queries regarding the subject, please feel free to contact. 
Thank you so much for watching. Meet you in the next video with another problem.